In this tutorial, we will take this plain synth waveform then stack up rhythmic effects one by one. To turn it into this rich animated synth line, load beat.wav and bass.wav on audio tracks in a 128 BPM project. Add Cable Guys Filter Shape 3. You can get the demo at www.cableguys.com. Click the upper right downwards arrow and select Preset New. We're going to design a custom LFO to control the filter, but first we need to turn the filter on. So just below where it says Filter 1, select 12dB SKLP. Below the LFO graph, there are lots of tools to help you draw cool shapes. The second one enables steps drawing. Select it and draw a pattern like this to create a rhythmic filter. You can also drag points in the graph to create sweeps rather than instant jumps. You don't have to copy our shape exactly. Feel free to come up with your own groove. Next we add outputs movement. This rhythmic effect has lots of useful presets. Choose 13 Rage Nights to add more resonant filter wobbles and spacious delay. The bass line now sounds lively and animated, but it's lost a bit of that upfront edge. We can use Dimitri Shea's rhythmic multi-effect Tantra to bring back the bite. You can get the demo at DimitriShea.com. Add it to the track and set distortion mix to 100%. Drive at 4 dB. And fuzz at 30%. We want the distortion to come in only when required, so pull mix back down to 0%. In the step sequencer above, draw in a rhythm or select a sequencer preset with a drop down right below it. Sequences Templator 1 works great. Now click Matrix and in the first row, set Source as Mod 1, Depth on Full and destination as layer A dist mix. For a final touch, throw on Cable Guy's Volume Shaper 4 and select the first ducking waveform for instant sidechain pumping. Then add Barricade CM without sealing at minus 12 dB to prevent the bass resonance getting too loud. <laughs> 